today, I'm gonna tell you a story. And this is the story about how after years of trying to learn how to make beats and get better, I finally started to figure it out. The things in this video at first might not seem super important, but to me, they're the reason for any of my success in music thus far. The first thing that I think is important to think about is why do you even want to make music in the first place? What made me want to make music the most and really fall in love with it was just kind of the way it made me feel. Especially end of middle school, going into high school, I was a bit of a loner. I was really depressed just due to different things that had happened in life and losing people. And so it was a very isolating time for me. But the one thing that always made me feel better and would almost take me into a new world, I felt like was listening to music. And for me, that was especially someone like Kid Cudi. Really made me feel like I wasn't alone. And I just remember thinking to myself, I'd really love to be able to have the similar effects on people. And it's kind of why I made my first song, Distortion, which is basically kind of about that period in my life. Whatever your reason might be though, keep that in mind throughout this video. The first attempt. I started to learn to make beats, recorded a song with my friend, you know, I would go on like little streaks of me trying to learn and figure out how to make beats, but I never would really stick with it. I just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. I felt like the improvements I was making were so little, they almost didn't even matter. A lot of you guys might feel like this at this point, but I didn't know and didn't find out until later was the little things that I was learning would be critical to me actually learning and figuring out music production as a whole, despite me not actually being able to make like a full good sounding beat or anything like that. I kind of learned the structure, which would make everything a lot easier down the road because I wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to and I wasn't making stuff that sounded good. I felt like I was just really wasting my time. And so I kind of ended up just stopping. What you're doing matters. It's just really hard to see in the moment. This is where I started to actually get good at making beats. And I'm going to show you guys the steps that I did in order to do it. <laughs> Finally! After I finished school, I moved to San Jose Bay Area and I was once again pretty alone because I didn't know literally anyone that lived there. So on my free time, I thought, you know, I'm gonna need like a hobby. So I picked up FL Studios. And so I kind of started learning a little bit here and there and just doing it for fun. Once or twice every couple of weeks, but still couldn't figure it out. The whole time I lived in San Jose though, I wanted to move back to Seattle. I didn't even want to move there in the first place. It was just because that's where the best job I got ended up being. I eventually was able to go and move back to Seattle. And I thought, okay, all my problems will be solved. Now I'm working in the city that I want to. I'm around all my friends and family now. I'm gonna like, like my job and it'll be all good. And that lasted for a couple weeks, but it was really just never what I wanted to do. And so I remember one day I came home from work. And I was like, I need to feel like I have some sort of a purpose in life. And even though I was trash at making music, it was the one thing I had ever found purpose in. And so on that day, I decided no matter what, I'm going to figure out how to get good at this. I don't care what I have to do. I'm just going to sit here and figure it out. That mindset for me changed literally everything in terms of actual things that I did to get better. <laughs> Finally! First thing was I'm going to spend 30 minutes every day making beats. So I would just do that, go on for 30 minutes. Anytime I would do that though, I'd always end up spending more time, maybe like an hour, two hours. It just became a habit where I was just every single day spending hours after I had gotten home from work, try to make beats, watch tutorials, etc., and then go and try to apply what I learned in that tutorial. I would try to create my own chord progressions, melodies, etc., just kind of using similar sounds and really trying to get out of my comfort zone as much as possible as I realized that's where all the growth was. And I did this for pretty much three months or so. And then I remember when I finally made something that I was like, Okay, this sounds actually good. Gave it to my girlfriend. I remember I put the headphones on her and played it and she was just like, whoa, you made this? And 
that was honestly the best feeling. And so then about like a year or two, I started just making beats, selling them online. I ended up you know, making like a couple thousand dollars and I eventually stopped getting better. I was just spending like all of my time doing this, go to work, go home, make a beat, make the artwork, upload it to beat stars. And to be honest, I didn't even really love selling beats or anything like that. I just kind of got burnt out and then I, I stopped because I kind of just forgot about why I even got into making music in the first place. And I ended up quitting for pretty much like about a year where I almost barely ever made any beats. And I could tell you the story about how I got back into music and went from working full time into doing this full time. However, the reason for any of this and any improvement I've ever made in music in general was all because I remembered why I was doing it. So whatever your reason might be, just don't forget it.